We need a doctor. Well, with the Senate shutdown over and the debt default averted for now, Washington can now focus their attention on Obamacare, right? Well, joining us right now is Fox News contributor Dr. Ben Carson. By the way, he's also the author of a new book that uh, is called America the Beautiful. He's also Professor Emeritus of Neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins University. He's also retired and he's busier now than he was before. <laughs> it's been quite amazing as I travel around the country and big enthusiastic crowds coming out and people saying, you mean there's somebody else that thinks the way I do? Because they've been beaten into submission. They have. There are a lot of people who think this way, believe me. Absolutely. Uh, there are a lot of people looking in. Uh, they've been watching what happened in Washington, D.C. Uh, you know, now the president, he's got a, a short-term deal on the CR and the debt limit and stuff like that. You say that the Republicans actually, going forward, have a good message to present to the American people. Well, the, the message of fiscal responsibility, personal responsibility and fiscal responsibility on behalf of uh, everybody, but also recognizing that the, the Republicans went right up to the brink. They did fight. Most of the times they, they wilt long before this. And I think what they need to let people know is it was a matter of do we allow the country to go into default? Because clearly the other side was willing to let it go into default to protect their pet John program. Ba John Boehner made it very clear a week or so before we would not go into default. Correct. So, you know, when we start ascribing blame, I find it quite interesting that a lot of people want to say it's all the Republicans, but the fact of the matter is it was the president and his group who were quite willing to allow the country to go off the cliff in order to protect their pet program. Sure. Uh, it's interesting, uh, just a couple of minutes ago, uh, we were talking about a little bit about racism. It does seem like uh, the opposing side to you plays the race card an awful lot. Yesterday we played uh, Robert Redford. The day before we had a soundbite from Charlie Rangel comparing uh, conservatives to Confederates. Here is Chris Matthews, once again, playing the race card yesterday. They have this weird we they refer to. We the American people. Why does a group of people that always loses elections or tends to do lately, why do they call themselves the American people? Because do they still count blacks as three-fifths three -fifths of a vote? There's this we they are very worried about. Like, we're more American than the rest, so we should get a higher weighting to who we are. I don't like I think it's dangerous. Um, Chuck and it goes with the birther stuff and all the rest of it. You know, I'm, I'm very hopeful that at some point people will grow up and stop the third grade tactics of calling people names. You know, we the people, we the American people are not each other's enemies. The enemies are those people behind the curtain jerking everybody's chains sure. and trying to divide us up by age, by race, by income, by virtually anything that they can because these are more controllable units. Sure. The people, I believe, are waking up. Well, you know, um, I think it's all part of members of the mainstream media who are trying to completely marginalize members of the, of the Tea Party. And they're trying to create a split within the Republican Party because that's perhaps the way the White House thinks going forward. That's the only way they're going to be able to win anything is if they can siphon off a number of moderate Republicans from right. those darn extremist Tea Party members. Well, you know, if, if, if you read, uh, you know, my book, America the Beautiful, there's an analogy there comparing the modern Tea Party with the old Tea Party. The British Empire was trying to do exactly the same thing to the American Tea Party during the Revolution. And uh, the, it's just incredible the way that you march along and see the things that were done. The Tea Party is no big organized party. It's Americans saying, excuse me, don't we have something to do with how our country is run? Yeah, no. And the people who are running it say, no, you don't. Get out of here. <laughs> It drives a lot of people crazy, like you. All right, uh, <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Ben Carson, Fox News contributor, thank you very much for dropping by. Always fun. All right. All right. Uh, what do you think about uh, his comments? Email us, please, uh, friends at foxnews.com, or if you got the Facebook up, go ahead and like it.